G'day folks, just a really quick clip just on the fish farm. So I just thought I'd show you a bit of a fix I've had to do. We're getting a lot of, actually I can show you down here, I've saved some. We're getting a lot of algae build up in the water here, just the fine suspended green algae. And I have a feeling it's because of these blue drums here, they're letting a lot of light through. So what I've gone and done is a bit of a quick fix. I've just wrapped it in the same um, insulation plastic as the tanks are wrapped in. Mainly because I don't want to start spraying paints around the fish. I don't want any drift to, you know, land in the tank. I've got a primer that I was told works really well with this stuff. Don't want to go sanding it back and applying paint normally. Same thing, the dust will go into the tank. So it's just one of those things I stuffed up at the start on the build. I should have paid a lot more attention to the amount of light getting through both the IBCs and these drums. But you know, you live and you learn. So definitely once all the fish are out of here, these drums and the IBCs will be painted up. Um, the drums will be painted, the IBCs might be clad yet. We'll just wait and see. So I'll just give you a look at uh, what I'm talking about with the sump tank over the back there. So there's the silver radial flow, the biofilter. Um, it needs to be covered as well, as does the sump. I'll just show you why. As you can see, we've got a 90% shade cloth there, so it's cutting out a lot of the light, but some still coming over the other side. See through the side here, a lot of light still making it through. So, yeah, it's, what's happening is the sunlight's getting through, and even though it's not in the fish tanks, it's allowing the um, algae to photosynthesize in the water in here and yeah basically muck up the whole system so as you can see there's the muck line um, i ran the bio filter as a trickle filter and it's cleaned up the water a little bit but still not as much as i'd like it so hopefully that algae will be a thing of the past as soon as i wrap all these tanks up so so there you go guys, just a little bit of a cautionary tale. When you're doing the DIY jobbies, it pays to just check the, sort of the light levels you're going to get inside the filters in the fish tanks, or you could end up with an algal bloom. I mean, come summer, when we get the full-on sun on this thing, um, yeah, it would basically just go out of control, I think. So I've got to nip it in the butt now. I'm still looking, I might add some other filtration on in the future, whether it be a living um, grow bed, turn it into an aquaponics system, or whether it's just going to be some sort of a fine mesh filter, we'll just wait and see, um, see what happens just by blocking out the sun to begin with. So, there you go. Um, also to Stephen, um, Stephen asked about having a look at the fish in here so the, they're actually intended for the aquaponic setup that's behind the system there so i'll give you a bit of a look at feeding some of the silvers and the jade perch in there as well just at the end of this so if you've got any comments questions or suggestions pop them in the comments section below and i'll get back to you other than that have a great one and take it easy folks cheers don't know how well this is coming out but this is the um jade perch feeding there stephen so, they tend to go for the bits that sink first, and then later they come along and finish off the ones on top. So they've definitely put on a nice bit of size since we've, um, since we've had them, so I'll try and show you the silvers feeding, but they tend to wait until the pellets sink, and it's a bit harder to film those guys, so back in the tick. So I've just popped some feed in for the silvers, but as you know, mate, they feed down the bottom, so... They pretty much will wait for the um, pellets to hit the base and then they have a go at them, so... They probably don't like me zooming around on top, but they're a bit hard to see. So these are the ones, 25 of these are going to our, um, into the system and the rest are going to my parents, so... Not very exciting, are they, mate? Cheers!